<clears throat> How you doing? Great. Mark, over the past you know, two weeks, the Ravens defense, quarterbacks, ball for close to 290 yards and um, scored 39 points. How do you feel about, you know, Jared Goff's chances this week against that defense? Well, I'll start with Jared uh, this week has worked very hard. Uh, we feel like we have a good plan in place, things that uh, he does well, uh, that our offense does well. Obviously, you go into every game with confidence and uh, knowing that you have a chance to win, because you do. And uh, uh, it's been a good week of practice. We need to finish strong, of course, with today and, and uh, put on the finishing touches tomorrow before we play. It's a good football team that we're facing, as everybody knows. Uh, we are going to have to play at a very, very high level and clean up some things, uh, some mistakes that we've made in the last couple of weeks. If we do that, you know, I feel pretty good about where we're at. Yeah, I know you're not studying him intently, but just as a former quarterback and, and maybe a guy that watched him the last couple of years, you know, just any, any thoughts on Mark Jackson and you know, how we sort of help him make that quarterback position? Yeah, he's, he's incredible, very talented. And, uh, um, and uh, listen, he's, he's one of the best of the game. He's got a a skill set uh, unlike any other quarterback in the league, and he's only gotten better. Uh, he's fun to watch, just things that I have seen in the past, you know, his explosive plays and what he can do with the football. I just hope I don't see it on Sunday, that's all. But I have a lot of respect for him. I've met him at the Combine years ago, a great kid, and uh, uh, obviously he's, he's, uh, he's a good player. Yeah. How much more evolution do you think the quarterback position have in I think, uh, it, 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 in my opinion, there will uh, um, guys that play like Lamar. You'll see more and more, but I think you'll always, you know, you're, there will always be a, a pocket passer, a Jared Goff, um, and uh, and then all the quarterbacks that are kind of in between that can do a little bit of both. So um, it's a great question, um, but certainly you're seeing guys that are uh, uh, explosive, guys that can move around. Um, you know, create outside the pocket. Uh, those guys are, uh, they're tough to defend. So um, there's, uh, you'll see more and more of that, I imagine. Mark, you've been very confident about the way this thing has been progressing throughout the offseason. How much validation do you get maybe on the, the first half performance and how good Jared and, and this thing can look when it's running full steam? Listen, I, I have a lot of confidence, not only in Jared, but the guys that are, that are around Jared. This is a process, as it is with most teams. Early on, you you uh, you make some mistakes, you struggle, uh, particularly with a new offense, a new staff together, us coming together for the first time. We have made uh, a lot of progress. We will continue to do so. I think the biggest thing for us is is is, uh, um, is taking care of the football. We've got to take care of the football better, and that starts with Jared, and he knows that. Uh, if we do that, when we do that, um, hopefully starting this Sunday, um, we'll be a better offense. Um, you know, you put yourself in positions where you don't take care of the football. It's tough to win games like that. On those two interceptions, you know, probably I think you go back and say they're two questionable decisions, right? Trying to put them in some the first one, absolutely. The second one, uh, he was hit as he as he threw it a little bit. Uh, we'd love to have it back, of course. Um, but uh, if not getting bumped at the end, you know, that's probably a completion. Those things happen. But uh, listen, interceptions, interceptions, and and regardless of the reasons. Or, uh, you know, if you turn the ball over, it, it's, it's going to hurt your football team. How do you balance that line from, from personal philosophy about taking risks and, and managing risks, I guess, with, with taking those shots? That's a great question. And, uh, um, you know, there are, there are times uh, that you can be too conservative. Sometimes you got to rip it and take a shot. And, and uh, uh, at the same time, knowing that, uh, there are going to be interceptions. Every quarterback's going to throw them, and uh, it, 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 you don't like them. They're going to happen, but uh, you just don't want those to happen very much. And so that's that's you know part of the conversation that, that we have with our quarterbacks is understanding when it's time to you know to to go out there and throw that football. But more times than not, you know what is the guy open? You know that's what I ask the quarterbacks: is he is he open? If he's open, throw it to him. If he's not, move on, throw it away, or get to your your uh, your second and third option. Yeah, I'm stressing the importance of taking care of the ball. How do you make sure there's some things that happen with Jared? Well, you you, uh, um, you Jared's great to work with, and like I said, they're they're going to happen. They're going to be more interceptions, guys, down the road. They they just are. Um, and uh, but just taking care of the ball, making good decisions. We talk about it every day. And uh, he understands that. Listen, he's been around long enough to know that, that uh, that's, that's how you lose football games. 
but I am I am more than confident in Jared and his ability to to uh, to make the play. He's made some pretty good plays. We're kind of just talking about the bad ones right now, but I've been impressed with with uh, with how he's played, some throws that he has made, some decisions he's made, getting us into the right play and managing the game. He's getting better and better at that, and that will only improve. And so, I, I think I told you guys last time just the the uh, the chance to to coach Jared. Um, you know, it's 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 been really good because I've seen the progress, and I know he's only going to get better, and the guys around him are going to get better. We talk about the last two more pieces, the, the run game all the time. Is, is, uh, the element of it is, is forcing the defense to respect it, right? And so I'm wondering in terms of receiver usage, do you also have to make sure you're using those outside weapons at, at all depths to just make sure the defense respects all areas of the field as opposed to maybe sitting on some of those, those shorter routes? Sure, you can't get one dimensional. Um, um, you want to be able to have balance in your passing game when you're utilizing all of your uh, all of your receivers. It doesn't go like that every game. Obviously, listen, you guys are you guys are smart. You understand that you try to get the ball in the hands of your playmakers, and so we do that. I think we do a good job of that. Um, every game's different, but you know we're we want to run the football. We want to take care of the football, and we need to put it in our playmakers' hands and give them a, a chance to 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 uh to do some things with it at the same time um it's very important you know we've got we've got some receivers that can really make plays so we're very conscious about spreading the ball around i know jared is we talk about it um but uh that's when you become a very good offensive football team when you're kind of checking all those boxes we haven't checked all those boxes yet but we will he's healing up you know i uh uh he's making some progress there i uh the only reason I know is because he was in a hard cast two days ago, and now he's in a softer cast. So I imagine that's a good sign. So I uh, can't wait to get him back, of course. And uh, it, it's hard with something like that. I mean, it has to heal. You, you can't. There's nothing you could do to speed that up. So uh, it'd be a few more weeks, I imagine. I, I, he, that's a. Yeah, that's doctor about that. Yeah, sooner the better. He's he's great to have.